everybody, this is Brother Graham. I'm um, back here again with another video, uh, you know, to talk about my vending machine business. So first thing first, what I want to do is uh, I want to thank everyone who's been tuning in, you know, who's subscribed, you know, who's watched the videos, leaving comments, um, you know, calling me, giving me DMs, um, giving me DMs, leaving me DMs. <laughs> Uh, I, I just want to say that I appreciate all the support, um, all the interest. I promise I'm going to do whatever I can and deliver content. Uh, you know, try to give you the best content about the vending machine business. Uh, just remains accessible to everyone. So what I'm going to do tonight is talk about what I call the three P's of the vending machine business, which is patience, presentation, and personality. And I'm also going to take time out to promote a black business, um, you know, that I think, you know, is doing great, uh, that I want to see, you know, build um, up to be, you know, bigger, things like that. So, um, yeah, man, let's just get into it right now, you know. So, um, we're going to start off with the first P of the business, which is called patience. So, you got to be patient. No matter what you're doing in life, you have to be patient. You know, what you want, you know, success, all that kind of stuff is going to be patience. Um, if you watch my first couple of videos, you know that I talked about it took me about two months to find my first vending location. And then it took me about four months after that to actually start making money on my vending machines. Um, and for some people, that's norm. I know for me it was. Uh, for my friends, it wasn't. You know, they actually got into the vending machine business um, and they started making, you know, money right away. Um, you know, but that second location or that third location, you know, it might take some time to get those things. Um, and like I said, that happened with me. Um, from the time I got my first location until I got my second and third one, it took about six months, you know. I got my first location in May of 2018, uh, and then I got my second location in November. Uh, so it took some time, you know. It, it took me four months to start making money, you know. So what you want to do is, you know, stay encouraged. You want to stay um, positive, you know, because you, you want to think about the stuff like, you know, that you have a business, that you have, you know, machines, you have ownership of something, you know. So instead of getting down and discouraged about it, you know, look on the bright side. You know that it's going to come. I knew it was going to come. No matter what transpired, no matter um, how much money I was not making, no matter, you know, what stuff, you know, rose, I always stay positive because I'm like, you know what? I own my own business. And with that, there's success. Um, there's success in, in knowing that. Um, so what you don't want to do, like I said, you don't want to get discouraged um, because, you know, from the time you order your machines, you know, you're going to have to be patient. You know, it may take two weeks to get them. Um, it may take three or even up to a month. Sometimes things transpire that, you know, just out of your control. Um, sometimes the warehouse may not have the machines that you want. Um, you know, most of the machines that I get are refurbished. So sometimes they have to, you know, make some corrections, some um, changes. Um, you know, the card readers, if you get card readers, you're going to have to order those. Um, anything can happen that can, you know, kind of throw a wrench into what you're trying to do with your, with your vending business. So don't get discouraged. Um, don't, you know, start to doubt, thinking, you know, maybe I should give up, maybe I should sell, you know, stuff like that. Like, you don't want to do that because the moment you start doing that, you're putting that out in the universe. And I believe what you put in the universe is what you're going to get back. So, like I said, you know, with patience, it has to be there because anything that's worth having, you know, you got to be patient. With. You got to take some time. It's going to take time. Um, you know, like I said, look on the bright side, the fact that you have a vending machine business. Um, you know, you have ownership. You can always, you know, sell yourself if you want to. But I just would, you know, encourage everyone to not do that. I just want everyone to just think on the bright side and know that no matter what transpires, um, you know, there's going to be some good that comes with the business. So the second P is presentation. This may be the most important one of the three because it really determines on whether you're going to be successful in the business or not. You see, most businesses like to work with big vendor companies. And the reason they do that is because they feel secure knowing that a big company can kind of, you know, match their needs, um, you know, and provide, you know, great service to them. So you as a small business or, you know, a one man or one woman business, you have your work cut out for you. So what you have to do is you have to present yourself as if you are a big business. So what that means is you got to have something like your website. Um, I suggest having a business line. What I use is called Grasshopper. So when someone calls, it will show up on your phone as your vending business. So mine's a joint of vending. So when I get a call about my vending business, it will pop up right on my screen. Um, I press one to be able to answer the phone call. And I just answer saying, hey, this is joint of vending. How can I help you? Um, because to them, they think you're in the office. 
well, me, I might be in my car, uh, I might be at a vending location, whatever, um, but they have no idea about that. So that's very important. Um, another thing that you want to do is has what I call my vending packet. So this is a binder. This is a binder. And when I go into each one of my meetings, um, when I look to secure a location, I bring this with me. So I'm going to have to sit and scoot up a little bit. So what I do first um, is I order these. These are my service stickers. I put those on the machines. So on there, you know, it has, you know, my logo, name, um, it has my phone number um, to my vending business. So, you know, when there's any kind of service issues or any problems, um, I like to, you know, be able to leave this behind so that they, they can call me and feel secure that I'll be there whatever time. I'll be there right away, um, you know, just so they feel secure knowing that they can get in contact with me. So um, in the rest of this, you know, binder, what I have, um, some stuff like introduction, it talks about um, the business. Uh, you probably won't be able to really see the writing, um, which is which is fine. Um, so I'm going to skip to what's very important, which is I, I like to have pictures um, of the certain kind of products so they can look at it. You know, they can kind of select what kind of things they would like to have, you know, so... And that's a part of like when you do your assessment, you want to do an assessment when you go into your vending location. Um, and that's going to something I'm going to talk about in another video when I, you know, deep dive right into location. But right now, I just want to talk about the presentation of it. So, you know, you want to have a healthy section, um, you know, let them select some things from there during the assessment. Um, what I have is, you know, provide products and pricing. So, you know, so these are the small bags of chips, you know, things like, um, cookies, uh, cheeses, things like that. Um, so we have, you know, our dollar items, the, the bigger bags of chips, other things like pop tarts. Uh, so you kind of get the gist of, you know, you know what I'm saying. So this right here is very important to have, you know, you want to present yourself as, as professional as, as you can. Uh, I think everyone who's interested in the business should get this, create one of these. Um, if you want me to send you something like this, I can do that. Um, you know, cause I think it's very important to have something like that. So, you know, also when you go into your, your meetings, you, you want to dress presentable. You want to have your polo shirt with your logo on it. Um, you want to be there prompt, you know, you want to be as presentable, presentable and professional as you can be because you know, this is going to determine whether you're going to get this location or not. Um, it's probably some other things that I, you know, forgot to mention. And please, you know, if you have any questions based on what I just showed you, uh, you know, just leave some in the comments. You know, you can always DM me. You can always email me, um, you know, because like I said, presentation is very, very important. You want to present yourself as a big business. Um, your website, you guys, um, I, I can leave a link for my website in the video. Uh, for the video and you know you can look at it you know just see what kind of things i have on there um like i said when these businesses come and look at my website they don't know if it's me by myself they don't know if it's 100 people they don't know what it is all they know is that they see a professional company okay so like i said presentation is very very important okay the last p is personality uh, and this is a very important one also i mean all of them are important but you know i like to leave this one last because I uh, believe that when you go into these meetings, you want to leave a lasting impression on them. And moving forward, you want to use your personality to maintain that location. So the reason personality is important is because unlike some other businesses and companies, most people don't get to meet with the CEO. You are the CEO of your company. So which means that you have an advantage over some of these big companies who may send in you know, a manager or a staff. Um, you're the CEO. So you get to, to sell your company uh, to these businesses better than anyone can. Um, you know, for me, what I do is I always come in. I'm always, you know, talking to everyone. I'm being, you know, nice to everyone. Um, you know, sometimes I like to do things like uh, give, you know, the, the manager, whoever is in that building, uh, you know, something free to drink. You know, just to let me, you know, say something like, hey, I see you've been working real hard. You probably need this drink. Uh, you know, I talk about anything, whether it's the weather, uh, you know, make a joke, whatever I do to connect with them because, you don't want to come in there and be the vending machine guy or the vending machine woman. You want them to know you by name. You want them to feel like they know you personally. Um, so that way, you know, if anything goes wrong, 
they, you know, they, they say, don't worry, take your time, come out here when you want. Uh, you know, they'll vouch for you. They may write you letters of recommendation when you get another location. Um, you know, it's very important for you to use your personality to maintain that, um, I'm sorry, to maintain that location. Uh, one thing that I've done is, you know, bring my, my sons. I have two sons. Um, one is really small. My other one, he's, you know, able to, he's school age, so he's able to come into the locations, you know, put some stuff in there with me. Um, so when they see him, you know, they love him. They, they want to talk to him. And, you know, they ask about him all the time when I go in there. Um, and that's very, you know, that's very important to do. Like, that's very strategic by me because, like I said, I want them to feel connected to me as the CEO of my company. Um, I tore my ACL a few months ago. And, you know, a week after having surgery, I was back in there on crutches with someone filling my machines, you know. So they, they love to see stuff like that. Um, they love to, you know, be able to talk to you. You know, they love to connect with you. Some of them, you know, may have long days at work. Some of them, you know, may be working in there by themselves. And sometimes just a little laugh. Some, you know, somebody, you know, just giving them the time of day to speak to them, you know, can really uplift them. You know, so I think it's very, very important for you to use your personality because, this is your business. You are the CEO of it, and nobody can sell your business more than you can, okay? So that's going to wrap up the part uh, about the three Ps of the vending machine business. So what I want to do right now is stay true to my word. Um, this is Black Friday. This is the first installment, and I would like to promote a uh, black business that I'm that I'm very supportive of. Um, and let's start it out, you know. So I bought this shirt, Talented and Black. Uh, I love the shirt. I love the fit. Um, I love what it means. Uh, immediately when I saw it, I knew that I had to purchase it. Um, it's $25. Um, I would say the name of the, the person, but I don't want to, you know, butcher anything like that. So what I'm going to do is, you know, you can look in the video and get their Instagram name, their website. You can get their Twitter account. Um, I'm going to leave it also in the um, in the description part so that you guys can go check it out. I love the shirt. I'm actually going to buy a couple more of these shirts. I may, who knows, maybe you want to, you know, give some out for free, you know, um, to, you know, some of my supporters and things like that. Um, so if you see a black business that you think that I should promote, that you think I should purchase some things from, uh, let me know. Um, I know some people try to send me things. If you want to send me stuff to promote, that's fine. Um, I have no trouble, no problem paying for this because I want to support you. Um, I don't need anyone, you know, to, you know, feel like they have to do anything for me because that's, I'm not here for none of that. What I really want to do is I want to support you. I want to be in your corner. Um, you know, you guys have been supporting me, watching the videos. Um, you know, you guys are giving me this platform and I think it's very important for me to uh, give back to you guys and use my platform responsibly. Um, and that's to build up my community. You know, the more of us we have to be successful, the more that we can put back into our communities and we can build it up. Um, I don't look at any of you guys' as competition. Uh, I talk about my vending machine business because I love every one of you guys, even if I don't know you personally. I really want to see all of you be successful. Um, I hope that by me doing this, it can spark some people to, you know, do the same thing, to start supporting others. Um, you know, just help everybody out, man. Let's 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 do this. You know, let's let's be successful together. Let's create a, like a small community, man. Where we can just come here. Hopefully, on my YouTube, you know, channel. Hopefully, on my Twitter page, we can just start promoting and pushing, you know, black product and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm sorry for being long winded, um, but I get really, you know, really excited about you know black people, black business, black success. Um, you know, so I, you know, thank everyone for tuning in. Uh, I don't really edit my videos because I like to really speak from the heart. I like to really speak, um, you know, as true as I can to be transparent. I don't want to sound like a robot or anything like that. Um, if you guys think I should do, you know, better job of editing and things like that, you know, please, you know, leave me, you know, some, you know, some criticism. You know, I'm 100% I'm fine with that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very new to this. Um, I'm really doing this because I want to help as much as I can. Um, you know, so like I said, man, just please, you know, like. Um, watch the video, subscribe, uh, you know, tell a friend, a family member, you know, to come check out Brother Graham, man, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this all successful, man. So I hope everyone have a blessed day, a blessed Friday, a blessed Black Friday, and I'll see you guys the next time.